This is our 13th year. We started this event actually before that with um, Greenville Mills on Wheels being a participant as well. And then in 2008 or 9, when the water went down and we didn't have um, enough water in the lake to do a poker run, um, we started the Hartwell Lake Charity Run the following year in 2010, and we've been doing that as a Mills on Wheels fundraiser ever since. This is one of our top three fundraisers that we do each year, but this event usually raises more funds than any of the other two events. This event supports the homebound elderly and disabled for Anderson County. So we serve 650 people each day, deliver a hot nutritious meal as well as a daily check. So this is our first year at Green Pond Landing and we are so appreciative of Anderson County and the County Council who agreed to let us close the facility down to host this event this weekend. It's been a wonderful experience here. It's a beautiful facility. This event normally raises 50 to 60,000. We're hoping to increase that this year. And our goal for this event is to net 100,000. So we're hoping in the next few years, we're gonna grow this event to be bigger and better every year. It's a day on the water. We get together, we eat lunch together. You know, this is a three day event. We start on Thursday night, welcome party. We go all the way into Friday night. We have a street party. We have a lunch on Friday. And then we can finish up Saturday with a great event to raise a lot of money for Mills on Wheels of Anderson County. The charity run for Meals and Wheels is probably one of the biggest events we do each year. It raises a lot of money for our homebound that we can feed more because we do have a waiting list. So it's a pretty important event. Green Pond Landing has allowed Meals and Wheels to expand it even more so with the space that they have. And thank you Anderson County for allowing it to be here. The great thing about Mills on Wheels of Anderson County, they're not state or locally funded. So everything is actually driven by the actual people who are involved in events like this. And all that money spent locally right here helping our Anderson County citizens.